And hey guys, we got a fish on. Let's we'll see what it is. Scoop in the water. All right. Oh, oh, not terrible. We got some sushi. Woohoo! <laughs> We're on the pillage. Nice. Hey guys, got a little black fin tuna left dinner for tonight. Must add circle hook right in the corner of the lip. Look at that. What's up guys? Today we're doing some offshore fishing. We're pretty happy to be out here again. It's calming down and the seas are nice and it looks fishy out here. We are trolling in about, well, buck trolling live baits in about 400 feet of water right now. We found a really nice edge, like a rip going on. And on this rip, there's a bunch of weed that's been pushed in. We've had an east wind for a few days now. So we already got like two dolphin bites. We had two dolphin jump off and then caught a small little black fin tuna which will be nice sushi, uh, but now we just got to see if we can get a big fish or a dolphin or something else in the boat. So uh, we've got three lines out, let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got hit. All right, I got some dolphin right here. Oh shit, I just lost him. What happened was this rod was in the way. What happened? I went like this and I was like this. I don't know. What do you want me to do? That we get sucks. all lines in? Or? Oh, we got a bunch of schooly dolphins around the boat. Frank and Darcy are going to try and catch them. We're going to use some dead bait and some maybe some live bait. I can't even caught one yet. I did catch one. <laughs> and I lost it on the gaff. Comment below if you ever get frustrated fishing. Right, honey? Yup. <laughs> so we had a whole bunch of dolphin. <laughs> Listen, I missed that, that gaff shot. Oh, that oh, was too small oh, anyway. Oh, oh. Oh. You just got real spooked. I haven't heard I that in a long time. Right here. Hold on. Anyway, don't get your hopes up. My bait just got spooked. Probably got seaweed on it. No, no, no. <laughs> but anyway, you know, we just had a school of my here around the boat, and uh, after I missed that one, another school. You know they wouldn't. Eat, they we were chunking, and they, and they wouldn't eat the chunks, and they wouldn't eat the uh, pilchard or a goggle eye. Then he saw some other guy came up right up on us. Yep. And uh, but you know whatever. So you know sometimes they won't eat, and you know, and sometimes you miss the gaff shot. But you know, remember always have you know you're out here. It's a blessing to be out here, right, honey? Yep. <laughs> Darcy doesn't always believe that, but I do. So you know, should be thankful. You know, I know it gets aggravating. Comment below if you get aggravated fishing. We just want to remind you guys, we're all blessed to be out here fishing, so enjoy it. What do you got to say, Salad Frank? I concur. He concurs! Oh, fish on! Oh, no! Just like that. Fish on. I thought I didn't have a fish there for a second. Uh-oh. Did you just cross me on that line? I think I'm under it. Hold on, I know I got a dolphin. Yeah, you got a little schoolie. Got a little schoolie okay, over keep, here. Keep that bait in They're line. eating all of my pilchards. <laughs> Alright, you hold the boat. Give me that. The boat. What? That's a little three. Oh, he spit. Did he? Yes. Alright, guys, we got some little mahi behind the boat. They don't seem to be wanting to eat like the last ones didn't want to eat, but we're trying. So we're cutting up some chunks, throwing those out. Darcy's jigging. We got live bait down there. All kinds of stuff going on. Just had one mahi follow up this jig. They're getting all fired up down there, but uh, today, you know, the sun is much higher now and the fish are much deeper now. And they seem to be just hanging out in the shade and they're these, you know, uh, these big pieces of weed. So I just went down to a lower size jig trying to get them to bite. They're just following it. They're not really hitting it. So, but they're all right back here. We can see them all. All right, we are throwing everything at these little mahi. 
and they just don't want to seem that we eating whatever we want. Oh, oh, oh. oh no way! Oh, the little teeny baby. Did you guys see that thing? Was like <laughs> a little teeny baby. All right. Now I put a little crappy. This is a blue blue jig from China. Um, I put a little crappy uh, teaser out there that I used. It's holding them right there. Now when you see mahi, I don't know if you can see it out there, but I'll show it to you when I bring it up. And yeah, I had a little tangled up like that. Those mahi don't care. Uh, but it's just a crappy old teaser. And anything colorful, I mean, they'll track to. I don't know. They're keen on something. We don't know what it is yet. But that was the closest we got. And sometimes you got to mix up the action. So Darcy was trying this for a while. And then I'm trying it now. But you know, it's just different presentation from one person to the next might be the only, might be the difference too you know it's just not no anyone's fault so I'll set that sink Frank I need to get over there in the horseshoe and then you can do this this will get them going too you know these might have carnivorous morons smarter than me obviously so I don't know what it says about us but uh you know, you don't got to be worried about scaring them. You got to worry about attracting them. All right, we're going to give this a couple more minutes, you know, going along with a little bit of aggravating the fishing. And uh, before you guys start getting out cases, this is kind of like the wrong kind of weed. I mean, it's dolphin under it, so it's the, that makes it the right kind, but typically it's the wrong kind. Uh, it's not that sargassum. Also, typically someone's going to say, just catch those little baits underneath there and use those as bait. Well, there's no baits underneath these. Um, we do that all the time. Also, uh, we're pretty much almost out of cut bait. We want to do some bottom fishing, so we're not chunking anymore. Not that that worked or anything. Uh, they weren't biting any of our live baits either. So uh, really running the kind of out of option, options. We tried different lures, different speeds. See, right now I'm just jigging this really past them really fast. They also don't want to come up, yep. you know, over 20 feet, you know, so uh, 20 feet down. So they're only staying between 50 or, I don't know, who knows how deep, but up to, yeah, up to 20 feet deep and below. So that's the story. Very pretty. Ouch. Hey guys, we're the bottom fishing. And because uh, the pelagic bite was really off and those mahi wouldn't bite, we caught so far. He, I think he just spit on me and puked on me at the same time. <laughs> Might have peed too. But uh, so Frank caught that fish and did absolutely no current which uh, if you don't know think about fishing it's kind of hard to catch a bottom fish or any fish when there's no current so uh but we're, we're sticking it out we're trying to catch a fish some days are better than others there's no wind now either oh, no. so we're gonna like put this it. thing on our sequelizer check that out and uh put them down and uh we'll be all set didn't fall for that no i didn't fall for the banana in the tail pipe the tail type you got a banana in your tailpipe? In the peel, in the peel type. <laughs> Frank's got a banana in his tailpipe. I'm not exactly sure what that means. What the hell are you trying to say, Stanley Frank? We're doing some wreck fishing now. I'm not sure if Darcy's on the bottom. We got a fish. I got a fish. This wreck fishing is tough. Sometimes you lose them. I think. I'm not sure what's going on. Big fish down there. Oh. Fish? in the wreck. Fish? I think that was a fish. Yeah, we'll find out right now, but this wreck fishing's tough. You get all the bites you need, but you don't catch a fish. Wait! Holy crap! I think I got something now. Sometimes, it, guys, if your fish gets like stuck... Out. Go, go, go. Sometimes when you get your fish stuck in a wreck... Oh, I got your line. Oh, I got my line. So anyway, yeah, now Frank's, but Frank's on the bottom. But uh, as you guys know, good example of what happened right there is that if you fish you know if you get a, I don't know what you guys are doing but if you get your uh, either a snook or anything and they're stuck in a, a stuck stuck in a pipe a pylon or a fish stuck in a hole a grouper stuck in a, in, a, in, a, in a reef you know sometimes if your last choice you can just free spool it and that fish sometimes will swim out I mean, not, you know, not a lot, but, you know, that's, that's all you got to do. 
So I'll try that. So when Darcy went free on that, um, it uh, it could have swam out. So anyway, we'll try again. And then we're all tangled up here after that mess. So whatever. Fish is coming. Yeah. Let's get him up, Frank. You got a fish, Frank? Got a fish. All right. Let's get the net. We're not gonna lose any more fish today. Doesn't look like a monster fish, but it looks like a fish. Long leader? Oh yeah. crap. Yeah. You want the you got the net sizzle? How you doing, Frank? Good? Good. Love the new reel. Love the <laughs> Frank's Frank's in town, doing good. Get that, grab that weight, Frank. For Remora, grab, Frank, grab that weight. No. All right, we go to Remora. Well, these are those fish you see on sharks all the time that they stick to the sharks. We're just gonna put them right here <laughs> for a minute. No, he doesn't start sticking. There you go. There you go. Now he's sticking. Where's the hook? He's not sticking out well today. Hook remover. Give me that hook remover up there, Frank. It's a big, yeah, it's a big remora. These are the things. They look like Kobe's a little bit. Sometimes when you first see them, you think it's a Kobe. We're going to use our hook remover. This is good for fish. Circle hooks. You put this thing on here. Up and down like this. And there he goes. All right. Link in the description for Amazon. We really should have one of these on a boat. See the circle hook, hooks the fish really nice, and then you put this on it, and you pull the string this way, that one way, and this the other way, and there you go. All right? Good job, Frank. At least Frank caught something, Sizzle caught zero. I'm not doing good over here. Not doing good? I'm not doing good over here. You look pretty, though. two really big fish. I really wish I knew what they were. Oh, my God. They big fish. Real, baby? I can't. He's monstrous, dude. Wow, I am. I think they're like huge Goliath groupers down here, because when I when I wreck fish, I actually can feel the bite. And like this line, just I had it like 20 feet off the bottom, went down to the bottom, reeled up, and cranked it up, and I just felt the rod tip start to bend, and just a, a no control over that fish. And he just started to take off, swimming very slowly, and he just popped me off. Um, I still feel my weight and everything, but I just feel like the way these fish are hitting that they're monstrous. Big Jewfish, Goliath Gripper, whatever you want to call them. All the lines! She's off, she's off. Just like that. Oh my god. Alright, I just got all crazy excited, but nothing I did wrong. Sailfish literally just came up and skied. She hit one of our down baits with a weight on it and came over here and just went crazy airborne. And kind of, I think she just like popped the hook. I don't think she ever was officially hooked. She took off with the bait. But she crossed all our lines here. So I'm just going to try and make sure we are not crossed and tangled. But there's a night bite. So maybe we'll get a trip saver. Get another sail or something. Well, we're still fishing. We got out here a little late, but what is it, like almost 7 o'clock? Yeah. And, you know, we've been trying. If you've been watching, we've been trying these major minor times a little bit. And there's a major starting at 6 p.m. The yeah. sun's going down. So we thought that might be good. Um, we just got that great bite on the sail, but uh, still no, still no fish. A lot of action out here. We're not getting any fish. So uh, yeah, we've been out know. here ten hours. We are. I mean, we got out here late, but I mean, we've been out here and the, the sun's going down. There's a bunch of action. Can't believe we missed that sailfish, but it was never hooked. You know, yeah, they never get hooked. It's weird when they build a fish, and it was a wire leader, and. You know, stuff happens like that, but we have boils, tuna busting everywhere around us, blackfin tuna. I must have seen, I'm not kidding, football size, 10, 15 pound tunas busting two feet, three feet Frank's out of the air. Frank's pointing at them right now. It's very cool, um, but we just can't seem to get a bite from them. So, yeah. Well, um, yeah, I, I did talk to a bunch of our friends, and, and including Control Chaos, and the bite's been really, really tough today for everybody. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so we're, still, we're out here for you guys, still fighting the good fight, trying to catch a fish. For this great video. Yep, not gonna apologize because that's oh, fiction. All right. Well, yes. Well, I just want to know we're working hard for you. Yes, 
right, exactly. <laughs> Putting out and grinding it out. We are wrapping up our day back at the dock and I don't know, I'm just very frustrated and a little bit impressed and just uh, at the fish and the fish gods, but you know what? That's, that's why it's fishing. But I just wanted to mention real quick, we were out there all day long and I know Brian tried to make a joke, but uh, it's really not funny anymore because Brian, once again, brought a banana on the boat and the last time he did that, we didn't catch any fish. And he ate it on the boat, and then <laughs> Listen, he threw it out, and it got stuck on the reel. That's not a thing. It's a thing. It's not a thing. It's official. It's a thing. Well, I can't argue with the results. I, I, I gave him his banana to eat this morning, but he put it in the bait cooler, <laughs> and I opened it up, and I'm like, what's this banana doing here? We were already like 300 feet offshore, so like right there, I'm like, I knew it. Like, we weren't going to catch fish, and I forgot about it because I was being optimistic. And then at the very end of the day, Frank brought it up again about the banana. I was like, oh my god, it's all the banana's fault. So technically it's Brian's fault. So I just want to let you guys know that. <laughs> but thank you again so much for watching. We really, really do appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give the video a big thumbs up. Until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. <laughs>